Welcome to e-learning platform of Christ College. Now, we discuss about greenhouse effect and ozone layer depletion. First, we discuss about what is a greenhouse. A greenhouse is a glass built building for growing plant. With illumination from the sun, heat entered the house with little of it escaped as a glass trap. The temperature inside the house is much higher than that of air outside. Plant growth there can have more warm and healthier. That is a symbol known as greenhouse. Now we discuss about what is an atmosphere like huge greenhouse, it, how it occurs. Greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide act like the glass of a greenhouse. The change in the climate of the earth and the subsequent effect are called greenhouse effect. This phenomena is otherwise known as greenhouse effect. There are different type of greenhouse gases are occurring naturally on the present in the atmosphere and its contribution and the different sources. Now we discuss. First, the carbon dioxide. That is a contribution is about 50 percentage and it is the main source of carbon dioxide is including from the burning of coal, oil and the removal of vegetation are the main sources for increasing the amount of carbon dioxide. The next greenhouse gas is a chlorofluorocarbon that is CFC and its contribution is 20 percentage. It is the source of this chlorofluorocarbon are from air conditioner, refrigerator and aerosols. The third greenhouse gas is a methane and its contribution for greenhouse effect is 16 percentage. The source of greenhouse gas is from rice growing, animal waste, swamp and landfills. The fourth one is the ozone. Ozone has the contribution is only 8 percentage. The main source of ozone is from air pollution. Next is a uh, how the problem intensify? That means how the greenhouse effect will be increased. The burning of coal and oil in cars, power station and factories give huge amount of carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxide into the atmosphere. The rapid growth of population needs more food, more cattle and more sheep etc. are created. More people breathe out more carbon dioxide and that maintain the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The level of carbon dioxide increase due to these type of activities. Next is the impact of greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect may be beneficial in some times when the earth is warmer there may be an increase in agricultural production but the problem is that the amount of greenhouse gas increased drastically it grew three times in the past hundred years that means during the last hundred years there is a large amount of increase in temperature in the atmosphere will occur such rising may induce harmful effect to the environment these are the environmental impact of greenhouse effect. The different type of environmental impact of greenhouse effect including rise of sea level. That is a major uh, controversial one regarding to greenhouse effect. Climate do change naturally over long period of time. However, the earth became warmer in recent decades. It found that nine hottest year on record occurred during the past 14 years. The main earth temperature, that is mean mean temperature in 1997 was 0 0.4 degrees Celsius higher than the past of 22 years. The next is a greenhouse effect impact is the polar ice sheet melt. It increased the sea level. The report showed that the sea level rise about 3 cm every year by the melting of ice cap in polar regions. These are the another impact of greenhouse effect. 
is directly contribute to sea level rise and polar ice melt and also contribute to flood in different regions of the world. Also, it will be badly affect the creatures that live in polar regions. Next uh, impact of greenhouse gas effect is the change in the rainfall pattern. Warming also have a rainfall and food production. Some places have an increased rainfall and some will be decreased. There will be flood or drought in the various farmlands. Uh, in Kerala situation, today we are facing a large amount of flood and in the another season we face drought situation. These are the main, uh, this may be contribute for the green news effect. Next, we discuss about ozone. In this, we first define what is an ozone. Ozone, we all know, ozone is a highly reactive pale blue gas with a penetrating odor. It is an allotrope of oxygen made up of three atoms of oxygen. It is formed when the molecule of suitable form of oxygen, that is O2, is split by ultraviolet radiation or electrical discharge. At ground level, ozone can be cause asthma, attacks, standard growth in plant and corrosion of certain materials. Some plant produce ozone in ground level. For example, ozone plant produce ozone. Ozone depleter. Next, we discuss about ozone depleter. Ozone depleter is a chemical that destroys the ozone in the stratosphere. Ozone depleters are a chemically stable containing chlorine or bromine, which remain unchanged for long enough to drift up to the upper atmosphere. Once in the upper atmosphere, they are broken up by the intense solar radiation and form a cocktail of more active substance which then react with the ozone causing a depletion. That means ozone depleting compound react with the ozone to delete the presence of ozone. That means to produce a ozone hole. The best known ozone depleters are chlorofluorocarbon, that is CFCs, um, halols, methyl chloroform, carbon tetrachloride, methyl bromate, etc. are the um, well known ozone depleting compound. That means in the presence of O2, in the presence of UV to form 2O, and this 2O plus, the, sorry, the Molecular oxygen react with O2 to form O3. Then O3 again react with uh, compare to O2 plus O. This O plus O3 to form 2O2. Under the normal equilibrium, the rate of destroying of ozone layer is equal to the rate of formation. Therefore, the concentration of ozone is fairly constant in the stratosphere. Chlorofluorocarbons is the killer of ozone. They generate chlorine radicals that attack and destroy ozone molecules. That is the process that takes place in the ozone stratospheric ozone layer. The depletion of ozone molecule is greater than the formation of ozone. The balance of concentration is disturbed here. Also, the chlorine radical is generated. The presence of such radical can effectively destroy many ozone molecules. Then chlorofluorocarbons. Chlorofluorocarbon, that is a CFCs, are the family of compounds containing chlorine, fluorine, and carbon. They generally unreactive, but in some time having low flammability, toxicity, and solubility in water. The major source of CFCs are aerosols, cleaning solvent, refrigerant, plastic blowing agents. Then aerosol propellants are weak, uh, also the contribute for ozone depleter, cleaning solvents, 
refrigerants. Uh, for example, the Freon is a series of CFCs. And it have a dichlorofluoromethane, which is the most important one. And it contributes for the high range of ozone uh, depletion from plastic blowing papers. Next, we discuss about the effect of ozone depletion. The ozone depletion is otherwise known as formation of ozone hole. Due to their inert behavior, the once emitted CFC can stay in the atmosphere for a long time. They will not broken up the rainwater. The prolonged effect of CFCs is depletion of ozone layer. Ultraviolet light generate chlorine radical that destroy ozone molecule and thus the equilibrium of ozone in the atmosphere will be balanced. Next is the uh, ozone layer is a start of a filter of about 99% of dangerous ultraviolet radiation from the sun. The thinning of ozone layer may lead increase in skin cancer in human beings. Some type of uh, skin allergies or some type of skin diseases are prolonged due to this ozone layer depletion. The yield of crop may be decreased. That is another negative impact of ozone layer depletion. The third one, the expense of medical cure and the economical loss is in food is uncountable. The increase in intensity or sunlight may induce global warming that melt the ice cap at the pole and the sea level may be rise. These are the some of the uh, negative impact of ozone layer depletion. Ozone layer depletion, the main impact of ozone layer depletion including skin diseases to human beings and animals. There is a productivity decrease in plants, polar ice cap melt um, and the economical loss, sea level rise, etc. Thank you.